So it's a fine looking practice weekend uh, as we uh, as we head out uh, to the track for the second time this season. It's a good track, this one. I'd, uh, I'm a fan of it, which is probably just as well because we, we, we do see it twice a year. Uh, but uh, interesting, interesting. Right, we, we're getting a little bit premature here. So uh, so what we need is we need acceleration and, uh, and the old high speed corners as much as possible. Uh, and that means we're not going to put Hazel in this car. Normally, I would switch my drivers up first, but uh, but so be it. Uh, right, downforce. Uh, let's increase the downforce a little bit, given that that's the recommendation we have right now. Uh, that should give us an initial read. Uh, we want acceleration as much as possible and high-speed corners, so we can drop the... Uh, uh, we're going to add a little, a little more oversteer. No, understeer is what we're, what we're chasing after here, and we'll, uh, we'll tend towards the acceleration somewhat. Uh, let's have a quick look at the forecast for today. It looks sunny today, so, uh, so we'll go with that, and uh, you can have the, uh, you can go on the, the soft tyres there, Mr. Hazel, given that uh, you're quite capable of looking after them. Uh, let's put, uh, let's put Bjorn on that one. And then we'll put uh, Vanessa on the other car. And that way we've actually done things the right way around. Uh, right, let's tweak this one up. And uh, again, we're going uh, to increase the, uh, the downforce. Uh, we'll keep the, the 10 degree difference that we like to run with. Uh, and then in gear ratios, we will, uh, well, again, we'll, we'll trend towards uh, acceleration. But not quite as much, I don't think. And, uh, and once again, we'll, we'll, we'll go for a bit of understeer rather than oversteer, and we'll see how we get on. You've got tyres. I've got drivers. Let's get to practice. Okay, well, Silvera's going out first. She's already set. Uh, you can, yeah, do it. Yeah, activate. Uh, so she's heading out, and we'll do the same with Bjorn as well. No sense in, uh, in wasting any more time than that. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll push, push, push here, and, uh, and see how we go. I don't know why we're watching Bjorn here. It's uh, Silvera's the star of the show. I mean, she's currently riding reasonably high in the uh, uh, in the charts as far as the season performance is concerned. Um, so it's it's really now a question of uh, of whether we can get uh, just a few more points uh, over the over the remaining couple of races and uh, and get a result out of that. Now I'm going to bring her in immediately, which is something that someone in the comments suggested last time round. Uh, and uh, and tweak the car straight away. Uh, one thing I have noticed right away is that P. Ruto, uh, Trolley Fodder, Shaw, Wolf, uh, Wu Yao, Wolfrath are all running medium tyres. And one of them's changed their mind already, so Ruto changed his mind already. Uh, right, let's pause them up here. How are we looking? Our survey says, great, good, good. Okay, well that's that's a very promising start, right? If we drop the uh, uh, the gear ratio just a notch further there, and we uh, we we tend towards a smidge more on the understeer, maybe we just by just by like you know giving the the very uh, the very most ninja like. Uh, tweak to the downforce. Maybe we can get that into an awesome. Uh, anyway, right. Okay, uh, you are still on good tyres. Get back out there and uh, do good work. If you would be so kind, Vanessa. Uh, meanwhile, Bjorn is now on his flying lap by the looks of it. Uh, and he's he's loving the handling. Uh, that's, that's all jolly promising. Uh, he's just set the fastest sector one time, which given he's the only person to set a sector one time, isn't really that much of a shock. Uh, however, it's always nice when uh, when you see that we've done well at something. Um, and here he comes round now for a completion of his lap. And uh, we've put in a 119, which was immediately beaten by double zero. So, uh, so not great, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Bjorn is, is not really that good a driver. Um, he is faster than trolley fodder, who's on the uh, the medium tyres, and that's that's something, I guess. Um, well, we'll see how that goes. Silvera, meanwhile, loving the uh, the aerodynamic tweaks that have been applied, and, and hopefully that will uh, that will resonate in something magnificent. Uh, Bjorn would, from what I saw there, was, was looking to give really rather good feedback. 
Handling's absolutely bang on. Uh, downforce is pretty close. Uh, well, let's uh, see if we can't get it closer still, shall we? 16.8. There we go. And uh, we will tend the, uh, the acceleration just a little further. Now, I wonder if that is a step too far. Uh, we'll try and keep the... Uh, the handling exactly where it was. That's gently, gently. There we go. Keep the handling exactly as it was and see how we get on with that. Tire choice is grand. Uh, what's the weather forecast? Splendid. Doesn't look like any rain to me. Get back out there. Okay, well, we've uh, now uh, Vanessa's now on her flying lap uh, and uh, and is coming round to, uh, to complete it. Uh, the question is, is she looking competitive? Not really, no. Um, but I've I've seen worse. Right, come on in, Nessa. Uh, let's see what we can uh, what we can ascertain uh, from your uh, your performance out there. We'll do a quick uh, tweak and go, and then you can uh, you can do naught but uh, gain experience for the rest of this session, uh, as we've got enough time for you to uh, to cane your fuel in that period, uh, which should be dandy. Uh, Bjorn, meanwhile, let's uh, let's put him on a slightly more uh, aggressive mix there now interestingly uh, the addition of, of of extra downforce has uh, has reduced our downforce favorability although we do now have speed balance spot on so we want to drop the downforce uh, a bunch uh worth uh, gently let's try let's try 16 9 and see what we uh, see what we get out of that how does that compare with first time round it's definitely going the right way. I'll go 16, 8. There you go. How's that look? That's That looks a ticket. Uh, we've moved from a good to a good. Well, there's really nothing we can learn from that then, is there? Uh, so perhaps if we were to, uh, to adjust the suspension... Actually, we'll leave the suspension exactly where it is. Uh, and we'll try and get the speed balance where we want it. Uh, by tweaking the bits that we never tweak because it's fatal to do so uh anyway get back out there vanessa go and learn something would you uh shall i give you some more time no, yeah, have some fresh tires no yes have some fresh tires go and learn something i've got the tires to spare it's, it, it's fine i'll uh i'll i'll spend all the tires in the pursuit of uh pursuit of glory uh for that's that's how i how i prefer to roll uh bjorn loves the handling well that's good uh, as he comes round, uh, coming up on the, the, the tail end of this lap, we'll see if he can improve on his time that he managed to record first time out. And no, I think it was slower. I think that was actually a slower time. Well, it's just as well you pay for the privilege of being here, Bjorn, old son, because uh, you know you're not uh, you're not delivering when it comes to any kind of a race performance. But that's quite all right. I don't need you to perform. Uh, we'll we'll just see how he gets on. Meanwhile, Vanessa is now uh, on her flying lap. So let's zoom right in so we can see the beads of sweat, of concentration, of sweat, of beads uh, do its thing as we make our way round the circuit for the last fully timed lap. Although, if we keep this up, we will have time for one more flying lap, and that uh, that may lead to uh, to dramatic things. Uh, 118.7 is enough for Silvera to move up to 5th, although worryingly both Hertz and Wolfrath have managed a faster time than that on, uh, on a medium compound tyre. I wonder what they've been drinking and whether they would be interested in sharing it uh, with my team. Uh, Bjelland is now, uh, now heading back into the pits. He's not really going to get another go unless he's, uh, unless he's remarkably lucky. In fact, he's quite likely to run out of fuel before he gets there at this rate. Uh, let's just attempt to ease off a smidge. Where are you? Yeah, you're 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 out of fuel, aren't you? Yeah, okay. Push the car into the pits. There we go. Well, we've got uh, we've got the knowledge locked in. We've potentially even got the time to uh, unlock knowledge three, uh, which would be a first. Look at Bjorn's car. How amazing is that? Uh, excellent, excellent, great. That's uh, that's pretty pretty dandy there. Uh, as Silvera's time is up, so she can't rock, uh, record another another lap here. Um, but uh, but we've learned a fair bit during this particular uh, uh, practice session, and, uh, and that can't help but be useful 
as we uh, as we tweak the cars ahead of the race itself. So Bjelland fifteenth, uh, Vanessa fifth uh, ahead of the medium drivers when it came down to it. Uh, that's that's not so bad. Point uh, six seconds behind your man there, your hands double zero. So over on to the uh, the social media, which is always a delight for everybody involved. Uh, Min Norsworthy, what the flipping heck are those team colours? Uh, this ain't the circus. Silver racing show a little taste. Lol. Uh, meanwhile, Victor Castro, uh, I wonder if Nicholas Walthrath will be able to chuck it on the front row tomorrow. Not entirely sure what that means, but uh, but yes, if if chucking it on the front row is uh is something that we aspire to then uh, then that's good uh hans double zero is saying i wish they gave out points for practice because he's flipping greedy uh as, as he's already pretty much locked up the season uh and then uh jean theo uh maurice uh tings be looking pretty sweet for my bro double zero this weekend uh square mouth smiley face there uh jean theo is clearly uh clearly down with the urban youth of today so it's race day and the sun's out now i'm expecting rain everything that i've heard so far is that rain is going to be uh one of the the prevalent things that we're going to be talking about during the race let's have a look and see what we're due here well nothing is it's apparently going to be sunny don't believe that for a second uh, but we shall uh, we'll, we'll just see what we get anyway uh, we will go with the race trim and nurse uh, as ever for Nicholas um, I could go with the soft tyres right could do that that could be a thing that we do um, but I'm not going to race trim is more of a catch all nurse has proved to be jolly useful so far this season uh, and then on Vanessa's car uh, I think we will go with uh, with a similar setup and we'll take uh no, we'll, we won't go with... Hmm, will we go with a... Yes, we will go with the risk taker. Given that our pit crew are pretty garbage, um, reducing the mistake chance is probably a, a wise move. I don't like it very much, so it's not very exciting. Uh, let's strip some weight. Right then. Uh, well, suspension's not really a big deal this weekend, so uh, so we'll start there. Start, start, start. There you go. You have to drag the thing, fella. Uh, right, Nicholas, I, you can probably handle 65 there, which is an extra 75 points of performance. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, we can probably shave 15. Uh, or do, yeah, yeah, you shave 15 off the engine. Let's ramp that up as well. Uh, crucial part, gearbox. You can lose 10 off there. Maybe 5. Yeah. And, uh, and finally, the brakes... Uh, we'll lose 25 off that as well. Uh, that's that's a pretty dramatic uh, improvement there. 210 extra performance points gained there by a Nicky boy Hazel. Uh, we'll uh, we'll replicate that across, and then we'll we'll just tweak it down a little bit. So uh, we'll keep uh, Vanessa at 85% on the engine. Uh, what do we feel about the gearbox? 90. Yeah, we can probably afford 85 there. Uh, the brakes we can go to. Yeah, 75 looks reasonably good. Only 63 to start on the uh, on the, the suspension. I don't like that. We'll go 73. So uh, a less profound effect for Vanessa, um, but even so, the uh, the overall performance uh, uh, gain there is uh, is pretty brilliant. If the cars hold together, if the cars don't hold together, it's not brilliant at all. It's a disaster. Uh, anyway, what have we got here? Uh, Vanessa's not thrilled with the handling, but downforce and speed balance are absolutely bang on, and she did record a reasonably good time, so I'm I'm quite happy with that. Let's get the strategy sorted here. Uh, yeah, yeah, high, 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 and indeed high. Uh, that's that's how we're going to roll with it. Um, I'm going to put both drivers on exactly the same strategy. They'll come in within one lap of each other, and then we'll evaluate based on the weather and track position. Uh, after uh, after we make our first pit stop. We're not going to mess with anything too clever this time around. So here's the lineup, and it's Longo Mush on the front of the grid as we start the scroll uh, with Swans Plastic and Hong Lao 
uh, there on the second row. Uh, Chris Shaw and Nicholas Walthrath uh, in fifth and sixth, uh, ahead of Xiao Wu Yao and uh, Maiko Kitasato in seventh and eighth. Uh, then you've got Nicholas Hazel, who is lining up today against Sarah Thomas for Firebird MRT. Uh, and they're ahead of Trolley Fodder and play moto on the seventh row of the grid it is hero of the revolution vanessa silvera and scene mendez uh before you've got vexala's p ruto cotso masilella who's currently nursing a neck brace then it's megahertz puppet price and double zero at the back he's not he's gone for medium tires he's going for a, a, a fewer number of stops uh interesting Interesting. And the forecast is still saying that it's going to rain. Anything could happen, friends. As we're under starter's orders, we're going to watch Vanessa here. She's got the space to make up. And we're underway. Uh, Vanessa off to a pretty respectable start, uh, closing down whatever that yellow car is, which I think is Playmoto. Um, and uh, Hazel holds position, doing nothing else at the moment. Uh, everyone's away relatively cleanly. Nothing much to tell. Vanessa tries it around the outside, gets nothing, and loses a place uh, in the process. Uh, good work there, number one driver. Uh, as Hazel also loses a place. Good work there, number two driver. Um, uh, Vanessa's got it back. No, she lost it again. Has she? No, she's got it back. She is just faster than the uh, than the, the, the whoever that is in 15th, which is P. Ruto. Uh, but uh, but there's not a lot of movement going on up front, and I think we're going to uh, focus on Mr. Hazel and uh, and see if a little bit of micro management here can't uh, can't propel him forward a touch. Uh, go on, give it everything you got, Nicholas. See if we can't uh, see if we can't close things up a bit as Silvera tries it round the outside again and again loses another place. As Hazel manages to make up a place, that's good. That's what we want to see. Uh, and then he loses it again. This is pretty close stuff, has to be said. And it, it's largely because the drivers out front don't tend to be uh, that much faster than everybody else. Uh, as Hazel is still now in 10th. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful piece of driving there from Chris Shaw. Uh, I mean, Hazel's beaten him back out. But, uh, but a great piece of driving from Shaw. And... Uh, it looks like Silvera's having a Silvera weekend. Uh, exactly what's going on here. She's now down to 15th uh, in and amongst the uh, the medium tyre drivers. Put your foot down. Come on, let's uh, let's not be hanging around here. I need to see some results out of you, Vanessa, because uh, otherwise I have to give Nicholas the good car, and, and you know that's never popular. Well, she's clawed back 13th, which is where she started out, but only as a result of me telling her to uh, to, to give it the beans. As Hazel drops to 11th, uh, neither of my drivers are uh, are having a good race here in the slightest. All right, and now it's uh, Hazel 12th, Silvera 13th. Um, I'm not going to attempt to let her through because he'll let everybody else through at the same time. Uh, we'll let them we'll let them figure it out for themselves. Uh, Silvera loses 13th again. My goodness. We can only hope that uh, when pit stops roll around, we're able to uh, claw some of this back again. Because right now, this is looking absolutely awful. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm disgusted at the performance of the team. And, uh, and they will be sure to, uh, to taste my ire uh, come pit stop change, where I shall give them a good whap in the helmet uh, and encourage them to actually get something done as we up the tempo uh, in that way that we frequently do. Vanessa back down to 15th again. But this is a very, very close race so far. We're on lap 5 and uh, 8 seconds uh, is the difference between uh, first and last place. As Silvera is, uh, is battling to hold on to 15th because everybody else is now nipping at oh, it's, it's that It's that lad double zero who goes past as you'd expect. And this is uh, this is a very poor showing. Uh, we've got to we've got to hit seventh in order to land our sponsor objective. You want to pit for fresh tyres. Well, you know what? You're not going to do any worse by doing so. But you've got a lot of fuel left on board, uh, which is which is something of a concern. 
Now, if we're going to have to do uh, a couple of stops here, it might be worth having a having a run out on uh, on a slightly hardier tyres to see if that that helps. Uh, yeah, you can fill up, have the hardier tyres, and we'll see what's going on. Meanwhile, the weather forecast is saying dry. Well, so be it. Yeah, no, we're good. The, the parts all look good. Everything looks good. Yes, uh, go fast. Yes, action stations. Okay, well, <clears throat> this is probably going to put Vanessa into the pits ahead of everybody else. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that she can capitalize uh, as a result of that. As she'll surely come in now. Uh, she's not alone. Uh, other drivers who are on uh, the softer tire... Uh, are coming in. I wonder if they're, they'll also opt to uh, to toughen up a bit. Uh, plastic is still in. Yep, they've all come up. Uh, all four have come up on a, on a tougher compound tyre. Uh, we're going to pit Hazel as well, and we'll do exactly the same thing. Uh, fuel options, fill them up. Yeah, pit strategy. 65% risk. Well, you either risk it or you, or you go home. Uh, I've always heard. But Hazel has managed to uh, make his way up to 8th overall. And uh, it wasn't as though uh, drivers ahead of him were the ones that came in. Although I imagine they're doing so now. Uh, we've got a tyre change done. Refuel's done. Looked like it was clean. Uh, Kitasato's got some technical issues going on. Oh, what a shame. Uh, as Hazel comes out in 15th, just slightly behind, just slightly ahead, I should say, of his teammate. Uh, now maybe if they can uh, they can motor it together, uh, we can actually get some progress this time out. Uh, it looks like Masilella double zero. If you look at the condition of double zero's tyres, uh, I don't know what it is that he's got in the way of skills there, but it is certainly paying off as his tyres are worn far slower than everybody else's. Um, but even so, it can only be a lap or two at the most before those two, those. Uh, original medium tyre strength individuals come in. Uh, Thomas and Wu Yao will surely go in on this lap. Uh, Silvera, meanwhile, is having a tough time uh, fending off Trolley Fodder, who is uh, overtaking. Well, uh, once again, my team are off the pace, and I couldn't tell you why. We got, we got all the parts right. Uh, perhaps if I'd, uh, if I'd gone out with a lower fuel load there uh, for my first session... Given that they came in so early, that would have been the smart thing to do. Uh, but we're going to need to stay out for a little while now. And in fact, I might even drop Hazel down a little bit to nurse the car. Uh, to see if he can't, uh, can't come in for a late session blast. Because there are still 18 laps to go. And the way things are right now, that's going to lead to two pit stops instead of one. Uh, and that's, that is not good at all. Uh, so where are we now? 12th and 13th on the track. Uh, Silvera is hot-dogging those uh, those tyres uh, completely. We, we've already taken... She's only been out for like five minutes. And she's already dropped 40% uh, of the uh, uh, of the tyre strength. And, uh, and despite uh, Hazel being on, a, uh, on a, a conservation strategy for a couple of laps, she's taken all day to get past him. Now, that does put her in 11th overall, and she's closing down the driver in 10th, that is Trolley Fodder. Uh, but uh, uh, she's actually, she's, she's on a flyer right now, uh, and we're, we're just going to have to hope that, uh, that this pays off. We, we could really do, we're getting past these two. It looks like uh, Steve Mush will fall first. Uh, but Silvera's now right on it. And, uh, and hopefully we can make something out of this. There it is, uh, Silvera taking ninth uh, there ahead of Mush, who, uh, as ever, started out brightly, uh, but has faded off uh, in, in, in the early stages of the race, strictly speaking. Uh, we'll ease off on the, uh, on the tyres just a touch, but I do want to keep the pressure on uh, with Vanessa here, because, frankly, we need to do something. Um, unless there is some form of, uh, of incident later on, uh, we're going to have a tough time looking anything like competitive. And given that we are almost certainly going to have to do two pit stops to get us through to the end of the race, uh, this is bad. Yeah, that's the word. This is bad. 
It's a bad performance. Uh, we're not out of it yet. But, uh, but so far, it doesn't look promising. And that's rain. And it's only going to continue. Uh, oh, the high drama. Rain is coming. Uh, the track's going to get fairly wet by around lap 21. Um, if I can stay out for as long as possible, we'll, we'll try and get a read on exactly how much rain we're going to score here. Uh, as Vanessa has actually managed to make take 8th. Uh, she's struggling to hold it, but she hasn't got it now. It is her own, as double zero is coming in. Now, he rarely gets this stuff wrong, so it'll be interesting to see what he decides to come out with. Uh, Mush has gone in with trouble. Uh, and uh, Nicholas Hazel is the uh, is the first to uh, inspire cowardice there, uh, asking to come in for intermediates. And the water on the track is building up. Uh, intermediates anytime soon. We'll bring Silvera in. She can come in for inters. I didn't see what uh, what your double zero had done, uh, but uh, she's low anyway. How's the parts? Everything's fine. Uh, arguably, suspension could be a bit a bit better, but uh, we're okay. Now this is where it could make the difference, uh, as everybody's coming out on intermediates. Uh, well, there we go. It seems like the uh, the majority have spoken. Uh, Silvera may come out, uh, may be pitting just too late to capitalise here. Uh, but she did manage to enter in seventh. As long as the crew don't hose it. No hosing has happened. Okay, that's good. So it's a, it's a good time for Silvera. Uh, we, we are going to need to bring in uh, our man, Mr. Hazel. But let's have a look. It's going to get very wet. Now, how wet it's going to stay out there is anybody's guess. Uh, getting it right at this point could lead to uh, a dramatic improvement in performance. If we can keep Nicholas out for like one more lap. His tyres are warm, they're cold, uh, they're wet, he's got a bit of fuel left. It's really a question of what's going on with the rain. I think the rain's going to ease back off again. What do you think? I think it is. Given the, the change in temperature is uh, is as part of the rain, I just can't see what's happening on lap 24. That's the problem. Uh, right, you come into the pits. Are we going to go wet? Which will give him an advantage for, for next to no time at all. Uh, the grip's going to drop off. It's going to stay wet for at least two laps, but it does seem to be easing off after that point. I think wets are the way to go. We're going to try it. Um, my heart says intermediates. My head says wets. Uh, there's already it's already fifty percent wet. I don't see that that's going to be too big a too big an issue. Pit strategy: chance it, risk it, do it, make it happen. So here we go. Uh, Masalela's got tech problems. Everybody's coming in now. So anybody who is not on a uh, an intermediate or wet weather tyre, we've already made a mistake once there. Uh, hopefully no more than that. He's coming out in 15th. It's Ishmael Parsons uh, who is going to uh, going to have a, a tyre hammer swung at his face um, if we've got any tyre hammers kicking around. Uh, anyway, right now then we'll get Vanessa to push push here. Because uh, there's a there's a reasonable chance we'll be coming in, so so give it absolutely everything you've got, Silvera, who for some reason is in sixth. Now, quite how she's ended up here, I'm not sure, but uh, but she's in contention. Double zero is way out in front. Well, there's a surprise for all of us, um, uh, but Vanessa is uh, is certainly in contention. Now she's not safe at all. Uh, Wu Yao down in eighth is uh, is only a second behind. So she's going to have to keep the uh, keep the pressure on to make this work. Now she could last the remainder of the race if I ease back significantly, but uh, but we we're going to need. I mean, we, oh, I honestly couldn't tell you. I think actually that might be the way to go. Who else do we think might uh, might lose out before then? I think Double Zero is going to make his tyres last. It's about the fuel, so we'll uh, we'll ease back uh, six. Lap, six and a half laps of fuel and there's at least seven laps to go everybody now is being told that uh, that wets are the uh, are the are the name of the game uh, so let's tell hazel to uh, to to give it the works because uh, surely now is his time to shine 
Longo's going in for, for wets by the looks of it. That's a mistake. Uh, just uh, just gamble on your inters. Uh, it's about what the other drivers do at this stage. Uh, Walthrath actually is already out on wets, which is an interesting move. Uh, is he closing down the leader? He is closing down the leader. Uh, so the wet weather tyres are a great choice. And it, here we go. Look, Moto, Hertz, both coming in for wets. We're going to gamble on Silvera not coming in for wets. Uh, and when I say gamble, what I mean by that is that's a real, that's a proper gamble, that is. Uh, we're going to conserve uh, everything. Which again, I think is a terrible idea, but we're going to try it anyway. Uh, because Vanessa hasn't got, the, she hasn't got the fuel. She's got nothing like the fuel. Uh, we're going to bring her in. Uh, but we might keep her out on these tyres. Ooh. No, I think we change the tyres. Do we change the tyres or we keep her on the tyres? Quick, a quick splash and go might be the smart move. She just hasn't quite got enough fuel. I don't know. Go on, change the tyres. Yeah. Add an extra two laps of fuel. Maybe one more. Yeah. That way she can over she can overburn the fuel. Ah, oh, that's a shame because we were we were properly in contention. For, for for some high drama there but uh, but it's just not going to work we haven't got the fuel for it hopefully the team don't hose this one two mistakes, brilliant that's exactly what we didn't need to see uh, Silvera now 10th and uh, nobody's going to need to come into the pits 13th, it's a disaster uh, Silvera in 14th the pit crew there uh, are going to be taken out the back and we're going to drive a skip over the top of them um because that's that's no more than they deserve. So uh, so we've got both drivers now on full aggression. Uh, we're going to see if we can do it with Hazel, uh, although he's he's rarely is the the man for the job. I mean, he's barely the man for the job of of getting the tea. Uh, but uh, he's two seconds behind Hertz, who is three seconds behind Thomas. I don't think there is any way we make seventh today. Don't said there goes Hazel. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's that then, isn't it? That's that's completely hosed it. It was uh, it was that initial run on uh, on medium tyres, and Hazel apparently no longer has the fuel to finish the race. So we'll we'll ease him back, given that he's not going to do it anyway. Well, knickers. Uh, apparently, he's got exactly the right amount of fuel. Well, we'll see if that's true or not uh, in uh, in the next lap or so. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's very very disappointing. Uh, because it was all looking jolly promising there for a moment and uh, and then just as quickly it wasn't again and it wasn't pit stops it was uh, it was the fact that we went out on the uh, the ultra soft tires versus uh, the medium tires as our first stint meant that uh, we just did not have the fuel to do it uh, to do it properly to do it well to do it at all to uh, to get it done to to any of that stuff three pit stops you don't win races on three pit stops people everybody knows that there you go you can uh, you can turn the pace back on again now Hazel that you've you've probably got enough to get it done uh Silvera's moved up to 13th five seconds behind Nicholas Hazel well maybe she can rein him in uh what's the gap we're looking at here no it's uh it's five seconds Hazel moved up to ninth nice uh but he's six seconds behind uh behind Puppet uh, and that was a pit stop that caused that one, so uh, there it is. But the rain has now stopped. There is still water on the track, uh, but we've only got one lap to go. So uh, so the gamble on the inters there, to be honest, we might have made it. We might have made it staying on intermediate tyres uh, with just adding a splash of fuel uh, rather than what we ended up doing, which was having two terrible pit stops. Uh, sorry, two terrible tyre changes. And it looks like Hazel may not have enough fuel to finish the race. Uh, that's good. That's that's perfect as well. Um, we've told him to ease it off. He's got half a lap of fuel left. Walthrath just ran out of fuel. Uh, but has finished the race anyway. He, somehow he managed to get ahead of double zero. Uh, here we go. Hazel is now on point one of a lap of fuel. And we're coming around to the last straight. He's going to run out around about the finish line. Which obviously meant that he got done at the line. Brilliant. Uh, well, that's that's lousy. I am I am most disappointed. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it should have looked at the anticipated lifespan of those tyres. Uh, didn't. And, uh, and that's what you get. Three pit stops, that's your problem. Two pit stops, you're fine. Three pit stops, you lose. That's, that's basically the, uh, the rule of thumb we should all be listening to there. And as you can see, it is the fact that we were coming in quite so early alongside uh, everyone else who started out on the, on the skinny tyres uh, that made the difference. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, but didn't. Well, raining on my parade is the scrutineering team uh, who have discovered uh, erroneous suspension on one of my drivers dropping them two places. Uh, that's, that's a problem there. And, uh, and it's Nicholas Hazel who got busted, uh, taking a 20-second penalty and demoted two places to drop him into 11th overall. So, uh, so Vanessa does manage to, uh, to earn more points there, but even so, uh, that's, that's going to be a problem. If that leaves us short a piece of suspension for the next race, which we're going to have to investigate. Anyway, we are now ahead of Octane Racing. Uh, eat, eat, eat my dust, Octane Racing. Uh, and, uh, and hopefully we can hang on to that as there isn't long left to go. Uh, meanwhile, it's uh, Veronica uh, Shepanovsky. Yeah, it is. Uh, who just read how much Dragon Race Team China are paying Hong Lao, uh, and she threw up in her mouth a little, hashtag no talent, cold. Uh, meanwhile, UK SN is saying it's a very impressive drive from Hans Double Zero at the Black Sea today. Very impressive. Yeah. Uh, Deborah Cowherd, uh, Vanessa Silvera has such an awesome helmet. Uh, clearly helped Bulldozer Power get a few points today. Not many, though, really. Uh, just not many points. And it's uh, Gellert uh, Hirschlow who says that Cotso, Massalella, and Fiber de Marti are a good match. They just need some wins. I also need some wins. Uh, and apparently I might also need some new suspension. But uh, we'll, we'll worry about that next time out. So undoubtedly an exciting uh, race weekend there. Uh, even if... The, uh, the overall performance is poor, and we got busted for, for breaking the rules. Uh, still, still pretty exciting race. Uh, I've got great hopes that we can turn it around for next time and, uh, and maybe push just a little bit higher. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Fling a like in this direction if you enjoyed the race, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the, the remaining part of this season. Uh, I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheerio. Cheerio.